Hi everyone. If you want to share files and folders between Windows computers on your local network, whether you're on Windows 11, Windows 10, or Windows 7, please follow the instructions in this video. As an exercise, I'm going to share this folder, which is on my Windows 1124 H2 PC named Saturn. This PC is currently connected to my Wi-Fi network, named InsaneNet, whose profile type is Public Network. All right, so to share a folder from a Windows PC, first you will need to enable the file and printer sharing on that PC. If your current network profile is private, the file and printer sharing setting is enabled by default, although it can still be turned on and off manually. But if your current network profile is public, you may need to turn on the file and printer sharing manually. To do that, if you are on Windows 1123H2 or later, on the network and internet settings, open the advanced network settings and then advanced sharing settings. On the advanced sharing settings, expand your current network profile, where for my case here is public network, and then turn on file and printer sharing. The network discovery setting is optional, and it will only take effect if the computers that access your shared folders also have their network discovery settings turned on. And then expand all networks and make sure the password protected sharing is turned off. If the password protected sharing option is turned on, You'll be asked for username and password of a user account on this PC when you try to access the shared folders from other computers on your network. All right, so it's all set and you may close the settings app. Now, if you're on Windows 1122H2 or older Windows 10 or Windows 7, you'll have to enable the file and printer sharing from the control panel. To do that, if you're on Windows 11 or Windows 10, click the Windows search box, type control panel, and then press enter. On the control panel, open network and internet network and sharing center, and then click change advanced sharing settings. Under your current network profile, which should be automatically expanded, turn on file and printer sharing. Then expand all networks and turn off the password protected sharing option. Click save changes and then close the control panel. Now, if you're on Windows 7, click the start menu button and then open control panel. On the control panel, open network and internet, network and sharing center and then click Change Advanced Sharing Settings. Under the current network profile, turn on the file and printer sharing, and then turn off the password protected sharing. All right, now let me first go back to my PC named Saturn. So after you enable the file and printer sharing, you may proceed to share your files through a shared folder. You cannot share a file directly on your network. You have to put the files in a folder and then share that folder. So to share a folder and its content, right click the folder and then click Properties. Show the Sharing tab, and then click Share. Type Guest, and then click Add, or just press Enter. On the Guest Permission level, you may change its permission to Read and Write, or leave it Read Only. Then click Share. If your network profile is Public Network, you will get this Options dialog. So you may choose to make the network you are connected to a private network, or simply turn on Network Discovery and File Sharing for all public networks. For my case, let me just choose the second option. Your folder is now shared and has a network address as shown under the folder name. Click Done, and then close the Folders Properties dialog. All right, now let me go to my other PC named Mercury, which is also connected to the local network in SaneNet. To access the shared folder on Saturn, on the File Explorer, I simply type the network address of the shared folder on the address bar, and then press Enter. All right, so here I am on Mercury, accessing a shared folder and its content on Saturn. So that's how easy it is to share files and folders between Windows computers on your local network. Now here is one important thing to take note. If you're trying to access a shared folder from a Windows 1123H2 or later, you'll get this network credentials dialog even if the PC sharing the folder has turned off the password protected sharing. This problem is due to the default security setting of Windows 1123H2 and later. To fix this issue, please follow the instructions in my other video, which you can access from the link in this video's description. All right, lastly, to unshare a shared folder, open the shared folders properties, show sharing tab, and then click advanced sharing. On the advanced sharing dialog, clear the share this folder checkbox, then click OK. And then close the properties dialog. If you wish, you may also turn off the network discovery and file and printer sharing altogether. All right, I hope you find this tutorial useful and thank you for watching.